read while I was running? I'm taping oh, now. Off. I am now taping. <laughs> I would like to say that Daniel may see another side. I was 12 years old. I got out my bicycle and rode, rode over to KFWB. They said, what do you want? I said, I'd like to give a weekly radio program for the Boy Scouts. They said, are you an eagle? I said, no, I'm a tenderfoot. <laughs> they said, did the Boy Scouts send you? I said, no, I just got the idea and came over. They said, well, run along. So I went over to KNX. They liked the idea and arranged the time for the first program. I went to the Boy Scouts. I told them what had happened and asked for their approval and cooperation. They said it was all right to give the program, but they would not cooperate. In fact, they never did. Each time I asked for the Boy Scout band, they said no. Individual Scouts all gave their services willingly. There were boy sopranos, trumpet, trombone, and piano soloists and scouts who spoke on their experience building fires and tying knots. The volume of fan mail increased each month. After two years... What the hell is going on with your phone? That's the fan. Go on. Go on. <laughs> After two years, the organization called up KNX. Oh, said. They never offered Next. us a program and demanded that I be put out and they be put in. They were. Is that really the fan? Yes, All that's right. the fan. Real quick. The band finally played a few weeks later and KNX took the program off the air. I think he deserves another Thank you, crowd. Thank you, right. Daniel. All right. I'm, I think I'm so now we going to do it again? On the side of All right. Once, when I was a child in Los Angeles, I went downtown on a streetcar. It was such a hot day that when I got out of the streetcar, the tar on the pavement stuck to my feet. Feels like I was spinning around here. Yeah. I was barefoot. <laughs> Ouch. 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 Getting to the sidewalk, I found it so hot that I had to run to keep from blistering my feet. I went into a five and dime to get a root beer. When I came to the counter where it was sold from a large barrel and asked for some, a man standing on the counter high above me said, wait, I'm putting in the syrup and it'll be a few minutes. As he was putting in the last can, he missed and spilled the sticky syrup all over me. <laughs> To make me feel better, he offered me a free, free root beer. I said, no, thank you. 